Republican Congressional Representative Yvette Harrell is speaking out for the first time since New Mexico's legislative maps have been redrawn. Active 7 News reporter John Carnelli heard from her. And John, it sounds like she's upset with this new map. Yeah, that's right. And here is what the old map looks like. You could take a look here. Much of southern and rural New Mexico all clumped together. And then you take a look at that new map and you see that it sort of breaks all of that up. And Representative Harrell believes the new boundaries drawn will silence rural communities. Every 10 years, each state's legislative maps are redrawn based on the most recent census data. New Mexico's new map was signed and approved by the governor on January 6th. And I am concerned that we will see some of these communities not have their voice heard, not have their needs met. New Mexico Republican Congresswoman Yvette Harrell is concerned about the new redrawn map. When you start putting, you know, Artesia in the same district as Santa Fe, where we all know those two communities couldn't be, you know, more opposite, it begs the question, are they all going to really be represented correctly? While Representative Harrell says the map aims to silence rural communities, Democratic State Senator Joseph Cervantes says it does the opposite because it combines rural and urban areas. What it does is it takes all three of our congresspersons out to all parts of New Mexico. So the congresswoman from uh, Alamogordo, who has been able to focus her attention on the east side of the state, now has to come to Las Cruces and has to go to Albuquerque. And there have been talks about possible lawsuits coming about because of the new redrawn map. Senator Cervantes says if a lawsuit should come about, he's confident the map will prevail. And I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. John, thank you. The new boundaries will be in effect for this year's congressional election.